Previously on Big Brother, a secret alliance was formed between the two new house guests. But things in the have not room was not aligning properly. But that did not stop the rest of the house from trying to establish their own alliance. Many alliances, in fact. Some even tried to relax, while other relationships was exposed by none other than the saboteur. However, the saboteur did not ruin the first kiss of the season. When it came down to the nomination night, Layla and Van was nominated. At the veto competition, things turned out unexpectedly and Paul won the power of veto. Jamie tried to influence her decision. Find out tonight who will Paula align herself with, the current HOH or her showman's. All this happens on your third episode of Big Brother. Everybody has been having a really good time in this household. I have played through a day's worth of just whims and doing things fun like that, just conversation pieces because trust me, it was pretty boring, especially some of their whims was like, oh yes, let's go have a funny conversation with somebody. So I went ahead and just played through a bunch. We do have Marin who is out here in the hot tub and looking so cute as always. We have our head of household who is, I uh, don't even know where he's going, probably to make another drink because I'm pretty sure, oh no it's not, it's actually to make a serving of hamburgers, but I did save one and it says that he wants to make out with Marin, which is actually really interesting, and oh, she stole the freaking hamburgers that he was going out here to get. That's hilarious, and Marin actually wants to make out with Jamie as well. But our nominee, Van, over here, he actually wants to ask Paul to be his girlfriend. Now, does Van just have game or does he actually really have feelings for Paul? Who freaking knows at this point because literally the whole house is crazy. Everybody's literally just doing like their own thing. Now, we do actually have the likes and dislikes that have come with the new update, so I'm really excited to see how this is going to affect everything. Our first person did pop up and that was Kaya. She actually got the thing and it said that she was a sweaty hot mess. So she dislikes fitness. So I'm really interested to see how that's going to affect her and the competitions and everything. I did not think this was going to come through and oh my goodness. What plain honey, what were you doing? Was you was you swimming naked or something? He's gonna go practice his flirting skill, but oh, I swear this house, this house is never boring. This house is far freaking from it. And I went ahead and I changed up one little thing and that is this area in here, which was their bathroom once upon a time. But now it is actually gonna be the diary room where they're gonna come in and they're gonna talk to the obviously the camera and they're gonna tell people who they are voting for because tonight we'll be finding out Paula is gonna do. So since everybody's actually pretty much already here, I'm gonna go ahead and let's get this started and let's find out what Paula is actually gonna do and how she's been feeling the past couple days. I am so happy I won the power of veto, but deciding who to save is a hard decision and I don't want to make a mistake. Jamie, since I won the power of veto, I can choose to save one of your nominees. I wish to save my love, Van. Nobody puts Van in the chair. Since Paula vetoed one of my nominations, I have to replace them. Since Paula and Van are safe, I choose... Ethan, please take a seat. Sorry, man. I just haven't had time to get to know you. Nothing personal. So either Ethan or Layla will be coming to meet me outside the house tomorrow. With that, our boy Ethan has definitely come in here and taken a massive dump because I'm sure that's exactly how he feels after that nomination ceremony. He's like, that is the biggest pile of that he has seen ever. And everybody else is already like 
had the sack and everything, but our guy Ethan, I feel really sorry. I'm so sorry because Paul did decide to use the power of veto and with the power of veto, Paul is actually safe, obviously, and then the nominee who she decided to choose, Van, is also safe as well. So that is great for obviously these two, but as for Layla, who is upstairs talking on the phone, which you're not supposed to be doing, so I'm I'm sure she's calling a friend. I mean, <laughs> she's probably like, friend, this is the craziest household I've ever been in my life. But obviously her and Ethan are on the chopping block, and obviously Ethan is living his best life right now. He He's just like, I don't care. Whatever, if it happens, it happens. But tomorrow, because we're obviously going to let, oh, a lifestyle is at risk. Marion is at risk of losing her people person. Unless she wants to, unless she wants that to happen, she better start trying to build it back up. Wow, Marion, what have you been doing that you're losing it? I'm sure she's probably, obviously, she's been isolating herself from her people person and she's just been up Jamie's butt the entire time. So maybe that's why it's saying that. I mean, obviously, our head of household has no worries. He is literally in the pool, like, sleeping his butt off, like, living his best life in the hot tub. So we'll be finding out who's going to go home tomorrow because I'm going to let them try to talk a little bit more. That way we can try to see whose relationship who wants to talk to. Obviously, Layla actually wants to become friends with Paul and she wants to kiss Ethan. I mean, I figured she's like, hey, you know what? I'm going home. So if I'm going to go out, I might as well go out kissing Ethan. So actually, that is kind of cute because actually one of them is going to be leaving. So if we can actually get that started. Oh, what are you going to do? Chat with Paul? You can chat with Paul here in a second. Let's go ahead and see if we can kiss him. And I'm sure Paula is up here telling her like, hey, listen, it's okay. I'm totally going to vote for you. You have no worries. I'm so sorry that I did that, but obviously I had to save my man. But she's just like, yeah, whatever. I'm just going to talk to Ethan over here. And I just can't believe he's the one that she wants to do that with. So hopefully everything. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't think he was taking it in, but now, oh, maybe it wasn't because it says smooth recovery. Oh, okay. So maybe this ain't going to happen. <gasps> He's even got the embarrassed one. So maybe he's like really embarrassed for like, I definitely feel like he's a type that's like, I'm more laid back and more old school. So he's just like, yeah, if one of us goes home, man, it's just how it is. So obviously she's going to go back chatting with Paul instead. Maybe we become friends with Paul. Maybe we, she just goes back and uh, chats with her. So Lena's memories, talk about recent meal. She can confess to having some woohoo and all that fun stuff. <laughs> exchange names, you know, just funly, fun stuff. Maybe even ask to stargaze a little bit. Definitely, she wants to get a relationship up as well. And as for Ethan, since you are on the chopping block, dude, what do you want to do? You just want to chat with Logan. And Logan is sleeping. Actually, I'm pretty sure the whole household is sleeping right now. This is a miracle. Literally, oh my gosh, dude. We are literally getting ready to vote out our first person tomorrow morning around like noon and then they'll be actually coming out and seeing Jessica right out here which I actually would prefer it to be at nighttime but we have the head of household competition that we'll have to do as well so I don't know Ooh, the nighttime would be so cute though maybe we will do it at nighttime maybe we'll do it like towards like seven that way they have like a whole day just to commerce and everything like that and then we can just have the head of household at nighttime that's not that's not a problem right I think so Blaine dude Seriously, this isn't guns out, buns out show, you know, this is, hmm. And I wanted to show you guys this really quickly because I kind of feel like I wanted to do this as well. So every head of household and veto person that wins, I'm going to be putting their names up on this gorgeous wall. We have a lot of it. So we have like a lot of space that we could hang stuff. I thought this would be really cute, especially to kind of like remember who won what. So obviously head of household veto. I mean, maybe I could try to put like a, a gold chain on them. And then that way we know that they won the power of veto or something like in the picture. I think that'd be really, really cute. I really would do it like that. And obviously <laughs> look at Ethan. He's still out here just like, oh, day of demand is in the pool. Oh my goodness. Actually, are you done? Are you done? No, that's not date. That's not. Oh, that's Layla. Oh, okay. He does want to make out in the closet. I mean, could he potentially make out with Layla in the closet? I don't know if the relationship is that strong. I know she would love it because she wants to kiss him and stuff. But ah, I wonder if it could even happen. Let's see. Can it happen with him? Can he make out with anybody in the closet? Nope. Okay. I guess he has to kiss first. But that's fine. He's actually talking to his boy Logan over here. 
Logan's not going to help you, but you can be friendly with him. That's fine. Logan, what do you want to do? You want to be friendly with Ethan? I mean, I feel like these guys are like such, you know, like a bromance all on their own. It's actually kind of, kind of funny. But there is one thing that I wanted to do with Jamie and Marin, And I actually wanted to put them in their own alliance. So we can actually make their own like secret alliance and we're going to call it obviously like the lovers club or something or another. Uh, definitely invite only because it's just these two. Obviously they're their own little thing. We can definitely make it a little love. So I don't know. Should we call it the love bugs or something? And how about we actually go ahead and where's Paula? There she is. We're going to make her, oh my gosh, Blaine is still naked. <laughs> We're actually going to go ahead and put Van in here as well. We'll give them the rocket ship and then we will call them, what should we call them? The love... They're not love bugs. They are the, we'll just say lovers for, for now until I can think of something or you guys can think of something even cuter for their alliance name. So there we go. There is a very cute one. And obviously as it progresses, I hope to make more. I think that'd be really cute. That way we can kind of keep track of who's in who each other's alliance and everything else. But it will be exciting to see what's going to happen. All right, let's see. What do you want to do, my friend? You want to make out and kiss Marin as well? You know what? Go do that. Is she even awake yet? She's actually probably still sleeping, I bet. Oh, she's actually just now getting up. There you go. Obviously, go ahead and plant her a big kiss of Rooney right there on the lips. Yes, you two. Very cute little people, obviously. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Look at him. He's like clapping so hard for these two. Maybe even these four could even be like in a power play, like showman's couple, because obviously I feel like these guys would want to protect each other since they are like that, but I don't even know how their relationship is. Paul, oh, that's right. He actually did flirt with her last episode. So it's not too bad, but I, I don't think he likes Van, obviously, because he put him up on the chopping block. So Van is like a zero. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. And why Ethan went up is because he's a six and Logan's a seven. So, oh my gosh, barely just like one point. That's ridiculous. And the relationships is a four. And then obviously Ethan is a six. So when it comes down to it today, Jamie, obviously, since he is head of household, he will not be voting in today's episode unless there's a tie. And Jamie does not get to play in that competition since he is outgoing household. And oh my God, are you freaking walking on water right now? You was, you was walking on freaking water. I swear, everybody's calling a friend. Everybody is calling a friend right now and they don't even have friends. I mean, look at this. They have no friends. It's literally right here in the household. I don't understand how they're calling friends. He wants to do a taunt. <laughs> oh, and this is something we haven't seen in a while. Cleo, who got a little busy last episode and definitely was trying to secure her spot in this house, which was kudos to her because obviously she gets to relax now and she has no worries while other people are in the house. Like, scavenging. I mean, Paula, are you calling a friend too? You probably freaking are. I mean, <laughs> I know, this is crazy. And oh, we got some bathroom drama in here going on. I wonder what these two ladies are talking about. Are you talking about who you're going to vote for tonight? Or are you talking about a woman alliance? What could these guys be talking about? I mean, or maybe it's just, hey, I'm starting my period and I feel like crap. <laughs> that could ha be happening as well. And it looks like everybody wants to become friends with Paul. That is hilarious. David, what do you want to do? You want to be funny with Amber? Go right ahead, my dude. You can be tell a funny story. There you go. Cleo, what do you want to do? You want to kiss Ethan. Wow. Okay. I mean, that does have to do with Ethan. And obviously, since he's on the chopping block, I definitely feel like that needs to happen pretty darn soon. There we go. Oh my gosh, a little snuggle. Maybe she's telling him, don't worry tonight. I got you. I'm totally going to be voting for you. I think you need to stay because I definitely want to get to know you this summer. She's just like, oh, let's just, uh, you know, do this little <laughs> number exchange as well, which is really stinking cute. Oh my goodness. We're going to have our second first kiss of the season. Oh my gosh, these two. Go ahead, have your little first kissies. Oh my gosh. 
so stinking cute oh my gosh that was the cutest thing ever oh okay so since he wants to make out in a closet you know what make out with go right ahead you guys can go do that so that can fulfill one of the things that he wants to do and then obviously your all's relationship will get better too she wants to adopt a dog and buy an easel and chat with paul Ooh, why is everybody chatting with paul do they think she's like competition now because where she won or do they think that she's gonna be able to save somebody and it looks yeah it looks like van is hot temper is definitely coming up he is riled up right now I definitely feel like he is mad because, oh my goodness, first of all, you need to brush your teeth, but I feel like he just now learned that maybe Jamie tried to flirt with Paul during the competition and he's like, you know what, I am pissed. First things first, I'm gonna get him out in next competition straight up because nobody messes with my girl and gets away with it and she's just like, oh man, whatever. I am so glad that I told him that, but dude, you definitely need to go brush your teeth. Look at that, disgusting teeth. Fan's teeth are visibly dirty. Oh my gosh, dude, go brush your freaking teeth. Oh, what's going on upstairs? Is Marin and Van talking about things? Or maybe is Marin trying to, you know, get a little bit more acquainted with somebody who she thinks could possibly help her in her game? Actually, what are you guys doing? Listen to Van's question. Ooh, look at Jamie. He just like walks away. He's just like, nah, I'm good. And now obviously she's going downstairs too. I definitely feel like she thought that he wasn't upstairs, but obviously he was. Actually, is there anything that even tells us about what's going on between these two? Oh my gosh, I wish there was. How is actually, oh wow, 27%. Holy cow, I had no idea that she had that much of a relationship with him. Oh my goodness, dude, seriously. Can you go freaking get some clothes on? I mean, it's 2.20 in the afternoon. These guys have had a little bit of time to obviously talk amongst themselves. I'm sure they're all so nervous. So nervous that they have to like streak all the freaking time. See, I told you, these guys are always chasing after each other, but... They don't want to let the rest of the house know, so I'm sure they're just like ha pretending they're having like a casual conversation. And oh my goodness. <laughs> but since Lena has decided to take a little nap, let's go actually to Ethan and see what he wants to do. He wants to get to know Logan, of course. I mean, I don't think there's anybody in this house that, oh my god, I swear, this man is all the time freaking naked. I don't think he wants to get to know anybody else besides Logan. I should definitely put these two like in a little romance or something. But I feel like these guys are constantly going to be getting to know each other and they're really not going to get to know the house in general. Except for Logan. I think he has had like a pretty good social game so far with everybody. Fertilize a bush. No. Oh. <gasps> Paula's going to come and chat. Oh my goodness. Do something romantic. You know what? Paula came over here and he wants to do something romantic. And oh my goodness. What was that? Was that a hug? That went pretty good. He does want to flirt with somebody now. Like what? Okay. Light a bonfire. I don't think we're going to do all that. But schedule a date. <gasps> Wow. Okay, so obviously that flirty session with Paul definitely did work on wonders. Come friends with Paul. Okay, so everybody wants to become friends with Paul. I swear everybody does. Talk about recent meal. Blaine wants to become friends with Paul. Wow, and he wants to make a friend. Okay, well that's convenient. You actually want to become friends with Paul and you still want to kiss Ethan. I don't think the kiss and Ethan part is going to happen. Okay, so let's go really quickly and ask Logan about his day. We literally have an hour left. So as soon as she gets down here and asks Logan about his day, we're going to start the process and see who is going home tonight. There we go. Okay, I really hope that that little bit helped. I mean, you never know. So she wants to send a flirty text now. Oh! Oh my goodness. Okay. What else do you want to do? Finish reading a book. But these guys are still actually talking. Like, I'm actually really, really surprised. But let's go ahead and have Marin, since we have to start this literally in 30 minutes, and we have to have everybody come in here. And oh my gosh, Blaine, sweetheart, baby doll, you're in here. And I am trying to get these. Oh my gosh, dude. Can you actually just go sit out there? I've always told you guys to suspect the unexpected, but in tonight's episode, one lucky house guest is going to have the opportunity to come and see me in this beautiful chair. I can't wait to see who's going to come out this door tonight. 
So here is Marin sitting in the little thing. Definitely to get ready to tell the whole world who she's voting for. So let's see here. So between Ethan, who's a 10, oh my gosh, and Elena, who's a 12, oh my gosh. She says, I'm voting out Ethan. Oh! Savannah so is obviously looking into the camera and he's like, I vote out. Lena is at 14 and Ethan is at 11. Holy crap. So Ethan, oh my gosh, that's another vote for Ethan. So that's two votes for Ethan tonight. Wow. And our girl is literally wasting no time. She literally sits right here by the door because she 100% knows who she's going to vote for. So it definitely looks like Ethan is at, at a one and Lena is at a seven. So wow, Ethan a freaking again with three votes to go home geez oh and then logan i mean does logan even need to come in here i mean we are oh wait <gasps> okay that is actually really sticking close because when it comes to the romance we have to type in the romance with each other oh <gasps> i didn't even know he had romance with lena when did this happen what did i miss is he actually gonna vote out his bro ethan 38% for Ethan. And Lena? Oh, the romance helped. Oh my gosh. The romance freaking helped. Wow. Four freaking votes for Ethan so far. Definitely the house is definitely voting together. I don't think they want to rock the boat at all in this episode. So for once, I'm actually gonna go and tell him to get leftovers just so he can get the heck out of here. So Lena, obviously, since she's a nominee, she cannot vote, but Blaine can. So Blaine, actually, you need to get up. And Blaine, seriously, comes out in the sleeping pod and everything, and he is still freaking butt naked. Oh my God. All right, we're gonna do this really, really quickly. Oh my gosh, Lena is at a four, and Ethan is at an 11, wow, wow, you know what? I'm sure it was because of that conversation that he had with Lena in the have not room that that's the reason why he's voting the way that he does. So dang, that actually really surprised me. I mean, maybe he's just like, you know what? I'll throw you a vote, honey. That way, at least I can say that I did something. Alrighty, so now let's get down to it. So we got Ethan at 17. And we have Elena at 24. Wow. So see, I'm telling you, the house is voting together, except for Blaine, who threw a little symphony vote. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, she just got romance. Oh, my gosh, this is going to be so hard. 40 freaking one. Holy crap with Lena. And with Ethan... 26 and 34. Holy crap, at 60 points. So obviously she's going to vote Lena out because she has a greater relationship with Ethan and definitely she wants him to stick around a little bit more. Holy crap, I cannot believe that happened. Oh my gosh, she's like, yes, please. All right, Dave. Dave DeMan. He's actually been somebody who's been pretty quiet. So it's actually going to be kind of interesting to see who he's going to vote for. House guest. The votes are in. The house guest only has a couple of minutes to grab his or her belongings, say your goodbyes, and come out front and meet me. With a vote of six to three, Ethan will be leaving the house tonight. Oh my gosh, Jessica Ray, is that really you? I would have loved to meet you under any different circumstances than tonight, but I am really good to see you. You are absolutely freaking gorgeous. Hey, Ethan, it's nice to meet you too. I cannot wait to hear about where you think you went wrong, and I can't wait to tell you who voted you out. So let's make our way to our chairs where we can talk a little bit more about the votes and where people lie at. So the first question is, where do you think you went wrong? I think I went wrong with pretending this place was a bachelor pad and not really having my head in the game. But I do have to ask, who voted to actually keep me? So the only people that voted for Lena to be voted out was Amber, 
Blaine and Cleo. The others actually voted you out. Honestly, I am shocked because I figured Logan would have totally had my back. He was my bro ever since the beginning. It's just very shocking to me that he did that. Well, it was so good to meet you, Ethan, but don't worry. You may have an opportunity to earn your way back into the house, so, so stay put. And just like that, our group of 12 officially become a group of 11. But the good news is that he looks so good in black and white, just as much as he looked in color. Definitely going to miss him so much. I definitely feel like Logan is going to miss him. I'm kind of curious as to why Logan actually decided to keep him around, but I guess everything will happen with the reasons. And tomorrow, they're going to actually start their brand new head of household, so power may actually shift amongst these members of the house. So it is the new morning without their fellow house guests. Ethan and everybody is definitely starting to get into routine and I think everybody is starting to see how real this challenge definitely is. Everybody did sleep pretty good and I'm waiting actually for Amber to wake up, start the next head of household. So I'm thinking maybe around noon, that's when they'll get the okay to go outside. What a rush. This boost of adrenaline is making Jamie feel amazing. Should he firmly embrace with his astonishing sculpted arms that he likes fitness? Well, yes, dude. I think you probably should. But yes, he's athletic. So that would make perfect sense for him, which I'm actually kind of surprised that it hasn't had before. Oh, Marion wants to kiss <gasps> her man. But her man is a little bit busy playing ping pong with his new lady friend. Oh my goodness. Such the tea. You know what? I was trying to find our freaking thing, and there it is. I found it. It's broken. Go figure. Replace. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's the reason why I couldn't find the stinking thing. That's the reason why we have these little freaking little dust bunnies that are right here. Oh my goodness. House guests, the HOH competition is beginning right now. Head around back and get started. Welcome to the second HOH competition with something that we like to call the toilet run. Jamie, who is our outgoing head of household, cannot participate in this week's competition. As you see before you, there is toilets and one of them is pranked. So the house guest that comes over and sits on the pranked toilet is the first house guest that is out and immediately sent into the have not room for 24 hours. So without further ado, let's get started. Jamie's currently walking to a seat to take a seat and let's go ahead and get everybody's blotters ready to make a move and hopefully, hopefully pick the right toilet to use. So let's get these guys down. All right, so everybody's bladders that is participating is ready to go down. Obviously, this is the prank toilet. That way, we kind of know like where to look because if not, it would be like a mess and we can kind of see which one they're going to go for. So they all are stacked, like literally 10 people are stacked right here, which it looks so funny, but they're all ready to begin. So to keep it fair, I kept them all stacked together. So let's find out who's gonna take a seat literally right here in the middle and who's gonna go where. Okay, 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 there is the toilet. There we go, there we go. There's the toilet dance. Now make the toilet run. Who's gonna go where? Oh my gosh, who's gonna go to this toilet? <gasps> okay, oh really, really? Are you guys, you guys are, what, where, where are you all going? There are your toilets literally right here. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> oh, I guess I don't want to use the restroom because it's, oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Two. Take two on this freaking thing. Now that they really have to pee, it should be going really quickly. Obviously he's given up. All right. Whoever goes in here is automatically out in the first one into our have not room. Okay. Seriously, you guys should be going now. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. No. No. She got pranked. Oh no. Your toilet run is not going to end good, honey. Oh no. <laughs> yep. You lost. Oh my god. All right. Round number two. I had it up the fence because uh, apparently they can get through that one. So these two down here at the end are the ones that are pranked. So let's see who's going to go in. And obviously this will be our final two that goes into the have not room. So and go. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's live. Now we're just waiting for them to go and run and use the potties. Oh my goodness. Is anybody moving? Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> 
Lena, not again. Oh my gosh. And David. Oh my goodness. Lena and David again. Holy crap, you two. I swear they must love being have nots or something. But girl, you got pranked. And David, you lost too. <laughs> no. <laughs> and now it is time for round three, where we're going to have three toilets to obviously start the pace. And as you can see, some of them are in their hot weather wear because I forgot how hot it was. So you can kind of tell where they are if you can't. I'm so sorry. But this will totally be a surprise as to where they are. You can probably see some steam bubbles, but oh my gosh, no! Blaine, oh no, I can already tell, my poor baby. <laughs> Blaine is out, oh my gosh, Amber is out, and it looks like Marion is also out as well. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> and then there was a four toilets left. We actually have Logan, Paula, Cleo, and Van over here who are ready to start, even though you can't tell who is who, but I promise you they are all there. This was gonna take us down to our final two and then we'll see who is gonna win the next head of household. Obviously, this is a pure luck on who picks what. So without further ado, let's get started. And this time, it's going to be a total surprise for all you guys. And go, guys. Go use that potties. Oh, my gosh. Are they going to go? Are they actually going to go? Uh, guys, where are you going? Okay, there you go. Go. Yay! Okay. Who's going to go into what? Okay. Looks like Cleo automatically gets the last one on the right side. Okay. <gasps> And the losers are. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my gosh. Can y'all come out? <gasps> Van is out. And oh, these two passed. Look at Logan. Like, yay, I made it. Oh, and Cleo is out. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't it have been hilarious if Van won? It has come to this, you guys. It is the final two people. We have Logan and Paula. I can't wait to see who is going to get it right. Oh! Their bladders have been lowered. They are ready to go to the bathroom. So without further ado, let's see who wins. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is the final HOH. Who is gonna go, who's gonna go where? Who's gonna do what? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Holy crap. <gasps> So be sure to come back next week to see who the next HOH household is and see who got dumped to the toilet. And these guys will obviously start up their 24 hours in confinement and maybe even diverge into a little bit of an alliance themselves. And if you all are still liking this Big Brother content, make sure you give this video a big sweet thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you're commenting down below with some predictions on who you guys actually think who won. And I will see you guys real soon on the next episode. I can't wait for you guys to see who won. Love you guys. Bye. Bye, friends.